All right, we got almost everybody here already. So same thing as normal, got a little warm up for you guys to do while everybody is coming. We're doing parallel and perpendicular lines. So yesterday we graphed. <laughs> so Khalil, go chat. Are they all still locked though? Yeah, they all are. See if they, I lowered the score. So see if they are now, they might open for you. Hopefully we can get them unlocked. Cause it Is doesn't, it okay if do that though? here we go. If I reset it, if it's not unlocked, I'll reset it again. It's good now. It's good now? Yeah, it works. Good. And then I would say at least stay until I talk about kind of like what you're supposed to do today live. And then when right, we get then. to the part where I'm just having you do your work, you can kind of choose what you do with that time. OK, thank you. All right. Joseph is not here yet. Yay, Lorraine is here. God, Zoom slows my computer down so much. All right, since most of us look like we got to number five and then kind of stopped, that's probably a good time to get going. So we don't need to go over much of it. You guys all seem to know parallel lines are the lines that never cross. Perpendicular are ones that will make a perfect, like a perfect T, they hit those 90 degrees. So you could turn it this way or this way, but no matter what they're intersecting at that 90 degrees. And then everybody was able to find that slope of one over two. And then the slope of perpendicular lines, you take whatever the slope is of the first line, and you would flip it. So if the slope was one over two to make a perpendicular line, you would flip it to be two over one, and then you would also make it negative. So I just looked through, uh, let's talk about apex first before I forget. So people who are pretty much, so Joseph's pretty much up to where we're supposed to be, Darren is, and Isaiah is. 
If I did not say your name, you need to get going on Apex. That is two thirds of your grade, basically. So it's super, super important. And I still only have one practice turned in and two journals turned in. You need to get those done and turn them in through Canvas or email me a picture of them to get your scores entered because we are moving on from unit three into unit four today. And probably after our meeting or even during our meeting today, I'm gonna to start transferring those quiz scores over to Canvas out of fours to give you kind of where you're sitting at in class right now. As for what we are doing with our in-person time today, you need to take our last two days of Shark Tank stuff. So here was day one. Basically, most people got checked off for that. Day two, make sure you look at that example that I posted for you guys, especially to help you with this blue box. This is kind of the HP section of this assignment. And ideally your graphs should be crossing somewhere. They might not be, but they probably should be. So today, so again, here's what I'm talking about when I'm saying look at that example that I have for you guys. It says Shark Tank Project Example. And look and see kind of how I figured out all of these different little steps. Because we want our graphs to be crossing ideally and then solve here. So what you're doing today, if we go to modules for today, is, oops, this is not the right class, hold on. So if we go to today, Thursday, you're doing the business plan presentation. So you've done day one. Most of you have received your check mark for day two. Once you have both of those, you are ready to start putting it into a business pitch or a business presentation, which will load slowly. So I've given you the rubric for what you need to do. So it says you need to make a presentation. So I'm looking for like a Google slide presentation of your business plan. It says the slides must include your business name and logo, the description of your product with a picture or drawing of the product. I need to see the breakdown of the costs. So I need to see what are you spending on supplies? What are you spending on labor? What was your overhead and the total cost to produce your thousand? What is my your plan? What will it cost to make? What are you gonna sell it for? Where are you gonna sell it? Are you running a sale? The equations and tables for your cost and income and a correct cost and income graphed on the same axes. And then finally, a business pitch. So a slide that sells me on your business. So you are trying to get me to invest. Why should I invest in your business? When will, if I give you money, when am I gonna start getting that money back? How much money are you ultimately looking to make from this? And how many items are you gonna have to sell to get that goal amount of money? So this is the big graded part. You got complete and incomplete for these two pages. So these were all of your plans. You got either a complete or an incomplete grade. This is gonna be your final grade when you turn in the Google slide. Here's your rubric for what I'm gonna grade you on. So that's what you, if you are, if you have received a complete for Shark Tank day one and Shark Tank day two, you're using the last, the next 45 minutes or so to work on putting it into a presentation. Oops. 
looking at the shark tank that I have seen, I would say I don't think anybody has got the HP correct yet. So pay attention to where that money comes from for the cost and the income. It should be the cost to produce one plus your overhead. And then your income is the cost of the one that's on sale plus the difference between the sale and the original price. So use this time how you best feel like you need it. You also have two Apex lessons today in unit four, and they're just quizzes, no journal or practice, I believe, unless I lied. Nope, just two quizzes for you today. So make sure you are getting caught up if you are behind. So from here, I should see screens switching to what you're choosing to use your time on. I encourage you to use it kind of on the Shark Tank so that I'm here to help you. But you do what you feel like is best for you right now while I'm here to support you. <laughs> 